Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to episode 39 of Thick and Thin with LB and Duty and Hitman and some other people that sometimes show up and they don't really shop on. It's ridiculous. Uh, this week's episode, we're talking about the land because that's all we did. But first and foremost, the man with the plan, the man with the wind-up toy. And I'm not talking about the actual toy. It's something completely different. It's disgusting. Uh, uh, L-B-S-U-T-K. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome back to our little show. I'm getting tweets all over the place. I apologize. Really? Yeah. Getting tweeted. Getting twatted. Wow. And uh, all the way from Chicago back to Canada in one piece. Really an amazing feat when you think about it. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Hitman, Mr. Roger, what's going on? What's going on, guys? What's going on? It, I actually made this. it back into Canada in one piece with no Woo! border patrol problems this time. No BP? No, no, no problems. No butt plugs? No border <laughs> patrol? You were Close safe. calls. Close calls. Close calls. Well, yeah, what happened on the way in? You said you got the, they were all over you. Yeah, on my way in, I uh, got detained for two hours. Uh, <laughs> what they did they searched, do? do it, like... They searched the hell out of my car, opened all my boxes, and left it like that. And they were like, all right, uh, we believe you now, two hours later. You can go now. Now, let's, <laughs> so be, on, let's wait be honest here. So I understand. Right. They searched the car, opened your boxes. Did they pull stuff out of the boxes? Yeah, they let, they pulled like paper out of the glove compartment, like right. as if they were bra- like someone had broken into my car and was looking for like drugs or something. And then they just left it. Yeah, and left it. Wow. And they were just like, we're not putting it back. Trashed we're not gonna it. put stuff back in. No, like, trashed it. <laughs> All right, peace out. You can go. They trashed it. Now let's be honest like, with one another. Did they put their finger in your butt at some point? Because that's no, normal. No, I just looking I for thought goods, I was bro. going to next. You saw the glove come out. It was like, snap. And then you just fucking they, hightail it across the border. They, they even kept asking me questions like, do you go by other, any other last names? And I'm like, wow. no. You, you know what, though? I, I, here's my ID. Here's my student card. Here's like, here's everything. This is me. There's, there's no other kind last of, names. You kind of look like a terrorist. <laughs> <laughs> like, doesn't ELB just a little bit? It's like just, just enough. No. Where they're no like, uh, I think you do. Canadian. No. Yeah, I would definitely detain you. I'm gonna have to give them. <laughs> I'm gonna have to give them the okay on that one. I think that was a, the right choice. But then you made it in. Everything was fine, right? Everything was yeah. cool. You were yeah. Fine. I mean, yeah. The rest of the weekend was uh, was great. Great. So let's talk about that. Well, you want to? We'll get to. I guess go to the land stuff. You wanted to talk about a couple things first. Hit. You had some news that you wanted to make sure the world knew about. Ten year anniversary and shit like that. What what's what's going on in the gaming world before we get onto this land crap? Uh, well, today's the uh, ten year anniversary of Xbox Live. Eh. Really? <laughs> eh. Ten years, man. We wouldn't what? be where we are today. Yeah. Why are you gonna be like that? Eh. They're eh. giving stuff away. They are giving stuff away. Well, here's the thing. So they're giving away what like helmets on? What what is the? Have you guys gotten the stupid code for like the helmet? Has anyone gotten um, that? I'm only eight years. I'm only eight. Oh, you don't get oh, a code I've, for helmet? I've, no, I haven't got anything yet. No. Oh, I got two helmets on two different accounts. Oh. Wow, you guys suck. You guys suck at pretending you're awesome at video games. You guys clearly <laughs> are not at the level that I am. But anyway, so they're giving away like these. You get like these helmets for your avatar or whatever. I got two of those. Yeah, the but helmets are badass. Eh. Eh. <laughs> but what they're also giving away is an actual Xbox. And yeah, I, tweet, I yeah. tweeted, limited edition Xbox. I tweeted, uh, Major Nelson said, "Hey, you know, kind of built the largest older gamers community in the world." Oh yes, I saw that. Can I get maybe yeah. you know? How many fucks did he give you? Zero. It was a zero fuck situation. <laughs> there was n- there was no retweeting from Mister Major Nelson there. Zero retweets. Not yet. Not, Not yet. yet. Not yet. I heard it's in the mail though. But yeah, so they're giving away like some special people. I guess they're giving away the limited edition Xbox. I I had a screenshot. That I didn't, that I took at work, that I didn't bring home, that I wanted to actually put up. It looks really cool, right? It's like, it's like this sort of it's like silver, gray, silver and... deal, and it's got some sparkly colors. But does anyone really care that you get an Xbox at this uh, stage of the game? Right? A free yeah. Xbox? Yeah. Why yeah. would you be like, no, no? I don't know. I don't want that. Just send it back. Come on. I don't You're know. gonna be like, no, don't give it to me. Well, no, it's not like it's it's cool. I mean, it's you know, it's it's nice. Yeah. It's not an Xbox 720. Okay, well, how many... What did Nintendo do from people that, you know, been around the Wii the whole time or I whatever? Got a, I, got, I got a car. <laughs> sent me a, a car. A Mario Kart? Yeah, they sent me a car. Because that's just how they roll. Okay. Yeah. 
Sony sent me uh, Jane's Addiction came played in my living room for Sony on their tenure. <laughs> it's fantastic. I don't even like Jane's Addiction. They just came over and played. That's just what that's what they do to everyone. So Microsoft is a little eh. No, but it's pretty cool. I mean, you know, they're giving away some free shit. I think 10 years, you know, it's funny when they said 10 years, I almost didn't believe it because that means that like, let's see, tool to play is what? Seven years old, maybe even close, almost close to eight. So that's a long time to be playing on Xbox. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Fuck. It's a long time. It's it's almost depressing when you hear it, you know, (laughs) you're like, this is, this is too long. We've been, this is too long. We got to (laughs) stop. We all three of us need to agree that we have a problem. Just, to, <laughs> just right. close it down. And we need just to shut close it, down. it down. This is just, it's, it's gone on for too long. I'm done. 10 more years. Let's go. Yay. <laughs> I'll quit before then. Um, <laughs> and then in other news, what was the other thing today? Oh, the trailer. I don't want to show the trailer because apparently every time we show trailers now, they <laughs> ban us on YouTube. So you guys are going to have to go find that on your own. But. The trailer for GTA 5 or whatever came out today. I was super excited. These two guys are like maying it as if it was a 10-year anniversary. It's not cool to them. <laughs> Apparently, it's not cool to like GTA. LB, what do you think of GTA? Be honest. Well, I mean, no. I mean, it's fine if you like GTA, but, I mean, it's GTA. You're not a fan? You know? I mean, I, I didn't do a bunch of reading on it. I mean, did they do something, like, super different this time? Like, In fact, they did, dick. Oh, well, let me know. Are you running around like as a nun? Yes. Killing people or something? Well, no. You're like, no, no, I don't want to shoot hookers. I want to see Well, you do shoot hookers because you can't play GTA unless you shoot hookers. Unfortunately, that's still in there. But the cool thing is they're telling the story from the perspective (laughs) of someone. You know, like every GTA, you're like this downtrodden dude or like this foreigner who like is trying to make it in the world. You know, he's like he gets in a gang and then the gang. You know what I mean? Like, so you like see that growth. But it's always the same story, like downtrodden foreigner or, you know underprivileged person becomes rich drug dealer and kills hookers this time around. They're taking it from the perspective of you're an aged dude. You've been in the game for years. You're like in your fifties, you got this rich house and like bratty shitty daughter and a total, you know, piece of shit son. And they're causing all these problems. And you have to get back into the game. You got to get back into the game to save your family. It's kind of cool. Hold on a second. Hold on. All right. I thought there was more to that, though. There is more to that, brother. Okay, all right, all right. There's a whole right. lot Listen, more. Yeah. Hang on, brother. Because it's GTA Five. No bitches allowed. Was the original subtitle? I think I remember. Uh, no, but so like, so I think it's like told on three stories. That's just one of the stories. Then there's yes. like the super gangster there's three story. Three different, three different characters, right? Right. They've got like the super gangster stories, thug life, you know, throwing deuces up, and then you've got the hillbilly story, of like the 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 gun runner. In the sticks, and then you've got the super rich dude story. You guys didn't think the graphics looked amazing. Like you guys weren't blown. Why was I blown away by this? It's like, a cutscene. It's a it's a no. promo video. No, 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 no. Okay. No, that's all in game. That was in game, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, it looked good from far away, but it I wasn't really impressed when it was up close. Wait, are you saying that when the trailer first came on, you just happened to be standing 100 yards away and then you slowly walked towards no, your computer? No, no, like, like <laughs> the cityscapes and like the faraway shots were pretty cool. But when it got up to like face-to-face conversations, I was like, eh, that's pretty cool. But I, w- I don't know. I don't know. What, looked, what uh, looks better to you, Halo 4 or GTA 5? Graphics. What looks better? Uh, that's not fair. <laughs> Just saying. I don't know. Uh, no, GTA. GTA. I think it looks a little bit better. LB shaking his head. You don't think it looks better? Nope. Wow. I feel I'm like so, you're I, hating I, for no reason. I, I, like I haven't noticed anything different with the past three of them. I'm like, all right, it's GTA and the same graphics and the same thing. And what are you doing? I mean, can multiple people play at the same time now, at least? I, I don't no. know. No, in fact, you're no. limited to 30 minutes at a time. The game shuts off. No, well. <laughs> I don't no, know you would mean. assume they would have some sort of co-op. It yeah, they've had co-op stories. The yeah, they've had co-op in the other ones. Okay. Have yeah. they, though? No, I'm just making that up. No, I don't think they have. I think that's, yeah, that, that might be new in this game. My new thing now is I'm just going to make shit up whenever I want it to, like, suit <laughs> my new. <laughs> for the, yeah, no, they have co-op. Yeah, it's always been co-op. Yeah. Time. Since Xbox. Came 24, player. 24 player. 24 player. Yeah. The other one servers. I don't know. I thought it looked good. I'm interested in it. 
I'm probably going to buy it. I've actually bought every G. I've always liked GTA, and it's weird because I don't play single player games, but I do play GTA. I bet you they'll have a good multiplayer this time around. I don't think they will. Dude, Rockstar makes some fucking great games. So uh, Red Dead Redemption multiplayer was pretty good. Red Dead was good, and you know what was really good? Table tennis. Do you guys yes. play table tennis? I, yeah, I, I have yeah, it. I know, yeah. Everyone, <laughs> no one likes to admit it. No. And they're like, oh, did no. you play table tennis? They're like, I played the I shit. I got suckered into that one. <laughs> played the shit. And I did. I played the shit out of it. And they, like, if you can make a game like table tennis cool, I'm going to buy your product every day. Every day I'm going to buy your product. Doesn't matter what it is. Table Do you guys tennis. ever play Bully? Yeah, Bully was, well, that was one of the, Bully that came, good. what, like right after GTA 2 or something like that? They kind something of made like that, yeah. in there. Good games, man. Rockstar. Can't go wrong. Anyway, so if you didn't already know, we had the Chicago Land. It was a raging success. It was fantastic. Everyone had a great time. Um, we raised, I think, 620 for charity. I think we're going to give that to Child's Play. I think that's what Derek already said. Guess where that's going. So congrats to them. You know, we didn't even have that many people, but we raised a shitload of money. <laughs> and uh, the Land Room this year was full, like, all the time because of a certain game. I don't know what it's, I don't even know what it was called. Yeah, right? Everyone was playing. Everyone it. was playing. So Halo 4 obviously came out. That's why everyone came to the land. It wasn't really to see each other or have fun or anything like that. It was just really play Halo 4. Um and I gotta say, we've had what, seven lands. I think in the beginning when we had lands in Chicago, there was a shit ton of actual gaming that would happen because we're all really awkward individuals socially. We don't like to talk to one another, and when you get too close, we're like, eh, don't touch me. And that happens, that whole thing. But then we started to get to know each other and getting drunk all the time. And then the lands eventually, you could just really not have a video game even in the, it was pointless. Like you'd show up, you'd get drunk, you'd puke, and then you'd go back to your room. That was like how lands were. Now this year with Halo 4 and us all showing up, it was just Halo. I played Halo. I played the shit out of Halo 4. I played the shit out of it. How about you guys? LB, what do you think? I, I had a good time. I, I played a lot of it, you know. I did uh, a little bit of the socialization thing. Oh, yeah, you did. Talked with some people, hung out, played some video games, enjoyed Thursday m- night immensely. Yeah, I mean, there's some things we can't really talk about because um, Why not? what happens at the land stays at the land. I think that's a... That's, I think that's well, fair. Thursday night wasn't that bad. It wasn't, really. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> I had a different experience than you. Uh, what about you, Roger? How was how was your time there? We, I mean, I think everyone had a good time. Yeah, I had a I had an amazing time. The, out of the three lands that I've been, that was the best one. Really? The, yeah, out of my three, easily, wow. easily. Now, was the hotel it? Be- was awesome well, hotel compared to the three hotels that I w- was at, and the game uh, the gaming was was freaking amazing. That tournament we had was amazing. The raffle was amazing because I won. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> uh, that was my best land, I guess. Wow, LB, where would you put it on your on your land radar? I would actually give it a number two. Oh, Ooh. number pretty two, high. pretty high. So pretty high. It's up there. It wasn't the best, but it's. I had a really good time. Now, what was your favorite land? I would have to say pretty much like the very first one I went yeah, to. Yeah, I feel like it was happens. like. It, not because it kind of like had more people. It was just meeting so many of the faces that I hadn't yeah. seen before. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, I uh, you know, it was still, you know, I did some sightseeing and that and everything like that. But that was after the land. We spent a couple of days. But it was still like, you know, really good. And, and uh, you know, had a great time. I got I to gotta say it was my, my favorite land as well. Nice. Mostly, yeah, it was my favorite. And the reason it was my favorite land was just because out of the logistics of all the lands, this was like. Every, everything worked out. I didn't do anything. <laughs> like normally I don't play games at lands. I don't like, I don't do anything. I don't talk to people. I'm like in a corner somewhere and I'm crying because something's like massively <laughs> gone wrong and shit's breaking and people are getting arrested. And, you know, this was like, this was nothing, dude. It was fantastic. I, pl- I literally played Halo. Like most of the time there, which I don't ever, I don't even play video games. Everyone knows that I'm not, a, I'm not even a video gamer. So I was trying that out for a while and I had a, I had a great time. I have to say, I mean like not having to deal with any of the bullshit, the hotel, by the way, 
Hyatt and Schaumburg, those guys know how to take care of their people. I, I thought out of all the hotels we've ever been at, the Hyatt and Schaumburg, fantastic rooms, great space, pretty yeah. accommodating. Didn't, you know, try to like pull any shit on us at the last minute. Everything worked out fine. The internet was a little shitty. But other than that, I mean, that's a pretty, I mean, you're, you're landing with one another. So it's like, you know, that's, you take that as you will. But I mean, that's one small complaint. The rooms were, were fantastic. It's re- they just renovated it, so it was great. And uh, we didn't have any power failures. We had some in the beginning, right? Because that's always a thing. But they yeah. fixed that pretty fast. You know, uh. the thing with every hotel is when we set it up. I always tell them, I'm like, look, we're bringing in like a shit ton of stuff. Like, it, just prepare yourself for like Armageddon. We're gonna fucking drain this hotel's power in like 30 seconds. And they're always, they all, everyone says the same thing. They're like, oh no, no, no it's fine. We'll just give you an extension cord. You're like, what? <laughs> Does the know. extension cord create new power somehow? Is there like a, they're like, yeah, we'll give you two. We'll give you two. You'll be fine. And sure enough, of course, we, we broke the breakers in like 10 seconds. But after that, everything did kind of work out. They get it. We, we all got on a different circuit and everything sort of did its own thing. But out of that, man, hotel was great. Yeah. Did anyone go to the bar out there? To I and that's another thing. I'm usually at the bar all the time. No one went to that bar. Am I right? I yeah, did not yeah. purchase a drink at the bar. I went to the bar, was there for like five minutes, but then all the alcohol purchase was either at the Ram or it was, you know, somewhere else not right. at the hotel bar. Oh, well, I bought some rounds on Thursday saying I didn't buy it. I didn't. I didn't have one drink at the bar. It's really strange for me. Yeah, I, I had I had food there. I had lunch and dinner, and then uh, Thursday night, our all my booze was from there. Huh? Really? Wow. Yeah, I mean Styles. You and Styles. Oh, Styles you guys got there the kind of like. No, wait a minute, wait a minute. Styles is all over. Did you come shit. over to the Ram? No, I wasn't at the Ram. I didn't get there in time. Uh, that's right. Well, it was like a cool kids only thing, so it's bad. Um, yeah. But yeah, and it was kind of nice. That was the other thing. We had a ton of different places to go around there. Uh, normally we have it near O'Hare, which is fine because it means the travel is really light, which people like. Um, but there's really nothing in O'Hare. I mean, it's it's an airport, so you know you're not like there's not a ton of restaurants. I mean, there's a, there's a, there's you know a decent amount. But when we had it out in Schaumburg, there was shit everywhere. We went to BW3s, got some wings, went to Ram, got you know actually brewed beer, not some mm. shit. Mm. Um, it was great. I mean, we had a great time. Well, let's talk about, so what did you guys think about the tournament th- this year? I mean, I thought, for me, well, again, I'm going to put this on my top list. Best tournament we've ever had. Oh. And I got destroyed. <laughs> because, by the way, let me tell you something oh, about these tournaments. Oh, I know why, LB. <laughs> well, L- LB, let's be honest. Me and you were in the same boat. Huh? What? What? Yeah. I was, no. put on, I was purposely put on a team that self-sabotaged, I feel. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to comment. Yeah, you don't have to. It's fine. <laughs> I was told that my team was originally stacked and I was moved off of it onto, a, <laughs> onto another team that really was not very good. Mostly because I was on it because I didn't do very well either. Mm. But as a let's can we break away from how we personally feel for okay. a second? You've got to. Yes, you've got to get that. Just pretend it never happened. Right. Shake it off All right. All right. as a whole. How would you rate the tournament that we had for Halo Four as a whole? LB being on the as wor- a whole, being on the I worst team, that I you would give it four bucks. You would give four it four bucks. bucks. Get a good team because it was exciting, right? We had a decent yeah. matchups and uh, mid, obviously um, Midnighters, the guy who put it together, uh, created super uber teams and then several shitty teams. That was his his strategy. His <laughs> no, strategy no, was wasn't. to create two great teams and then everyone else to be as shitty as possible, which was a good strategy. It worked out really well. Because those two teams uh, was fun to watch. Well, it was good. You know, it was it was good yelling and screaming. Right. It wasn't hate yelling and screaming. We had uh, <laughs> Meta get a little crazy. I think he smashed his controller like Styles said. It, yeah, he's, it, yeah. It may have uh, shattered. Dude, I picked bit. up that controller, Medic's controller. <laughs> Someone said they saw my face and looked like I was like I had just been raped or something. Because I picked it up and it was like. It, it was crumbling in my hands and it was he taped broke it together. so many times though <laughs> at, at, at one point he was on my team so at, at one point like midway through the finals he fucking uh smashed his controller so much that his mic wasn't working so we wow. had no mic for like the last two games 
then he finally like broke it, broke it at the end. I think. God, I I mean, I seriously, I picked it up and I was like, ah, because he had like taped it, and like <laughs> my finger like went inside of it. It was really like, <laughs> what? Yes, it felt very, you know, like the cops could like come take me away at some point for doing something, <laughs> molesting a controller. It was gross, dude. It's gross. Wow. But yeah, so people got, you know what? Here's why it was so good because people got heated over the game, but they didn't get so heated that it turned into like, you know, some stupid, like, you know, a bunch of fucking 40 year olds yelling at each other. Yeah, like true. somehow it was right on the barrier of like, someone's going to get punched, but no one did. It was, it was crazy. Didn't you feel that way? I felt that way. Yeah, it was, I mean, it was good. I mean, you still had, you know, shit talking and yelling oh, yeah. back and forth across the table and everything like that. But like you said, it was it was to a level where it was still cool. It's you know, a, when it was all cusp. done and everything, it was high fives. It was you know pounds and everything like that. And nobody really wanted to punch anybody else in the in the jaw. So, so me me and uh, LB had had a different experience than you had because we were uh, yeah we were relegated uh, I, to the team of sucks. I, you I got the tournament. I give the tournament a nine out of ten. I think Mid did a good job, and oh, I helped him out. Of course, you think Mid did a good yeah, job? What team? I what team are you Mid on? Did a good job under the conditions of of a land like the, what we had. You, like, you're you saying you got to fight people. You got to fight. There's a lot of people in that tournament. There was 32 of us, well, 33 actually. And um, yeah, no, like given people going for bathroom breaks and going out for lunch or going to watch a movie. Yes. <laughs> um, oh God, you I think he did a good job of making sure that eventually the tournament got done and underway and the brackets worked out. I, we had a tournament the first day and we did teams from that. We had eight teams and unfortunately as the brackets went on, LB's team had to forfeit. Uh, <laughs> Again, it's what I was talking about before. You know, you got to fight people. Um, so you're but, saying uh, you yeah. had a great experience, and you just happened to also be on a team, <laughs> and and Hold really up. close friends with the guy creating the teams, which is there's no nothing. So wrong I'm not with gonna that. brag or anything, but I'm not gonna I, brag. I did rank first overall. Okay. I'm team number one. Okay. And my team was undefeated going in, into the finals, into okay. the championship okay. game. And we played uh, Dross's team, which was heavily favored to win the tournament. Right, because of we got to, reasons. Because of Dross and Dixon being on the same team. <laughs> Not even just it was four players that all did well. In fact, the supposed player that was ranked lower on Dross team did better than them in almost every way, which was really interesting. Yeah, the winning team was Dixon, Dross, Seraphis, and Laud. Seraphis was beasting. Um, I'm going to say that right now. Laud so is much. pretty good. Laud, Laud so eh, he was clutch at, in some of the games. Like the championship game was best of five, um, and we took it all the way to game five. Uh, there was one. The second game was captured a flag on uh, that outside map relic. It, it was no, 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 no. overtime. Was it? No, 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 it wasn't relic. It was wasn't it uh, ravine? Ravine, ravine. There you go. Yeah. Uh, it, something with an art. Yeah. We went into uh, overtime on that game. <laughs> there was no end in sight in that game. We were worried, like, how are we going to end this? <laughs> and it should have gone to overtime because, like, Dross's team had the flag all the way back to their base, like, at the, the door yeah. to get in the base. And he got rammed by the ghost. And yeah, they just Speed couldn't... bump was on, the, on my – yeah, my, t- <laughs> my team was me, speed bump, um, medic, and – Bubba, yeah. Which, and by the way, Bubba was, was pooping on beasting. He was, yeah, he and was that, so clutch. That is the interesting thing with this this land, like when the teams got together, <laughs> because a lot of the guys, what made a lot of those teams so good is the guys that were seated lower that were supposedly supposed to suck just turned it on. Like Seraphis just yeah. shat on people and, and Bubba just shat on people. And it was one of those things where like as a team, right, because that's a team game, they, they just performed like su- just superior. And a lot of it's weird because when you're trying to make a team like that, you're trying to go based on individual skill and then put those skills together. But what wasn't really accounted for, what I found so interesting is playing with people that you know already or that yeah. you know in the community. Like there's something still awkward when you get four players together that have never spoken to one another and then you throw them into a situation. You're like, oh, just go be a team. You know, I mean, like just go, you know, be great. You can't really <laughs> do that. Like yeah. there's still that like awkward, like, cause I want to be able to say to my friend, 
while we're, we're getting shit on. What are you fucking retarded? Shoot him in the face. You suck at life. But I can't Pick do up that. the goddamn flag. Yeah, what you are you be, doing? You got to be nice. But you don't need to be nice when they're your friends. You tell them how much they suck and then, you know, people play better. That's what I think we were missing. I need to be able to tell LB that he sucks or else I can't have a good time, frankly. I just can't. See? Yes. Just can't do it. Or, you know, just can't do it. Have the other two people of your team show up for the second time. Yeah, <laughs> that's all for you. <laughs> LB anyway. did not uh, have the best experience. But it's okay. It's okay. It was fun. <sighs> um, but yeah, maybe next time I agree. I think we need like a trophy or something. But this was a very impromptu. The thing is, most of the time when we try to do these tournaments, we're talking about a game that's usually like, you know, three years old or something and no one even wants to play it. Yeah. everyone again i gotta go back to it everyone was so excited to play halo i entered the tournament i don't even like the i don't like video games i was in the tournament it's fantastic so i think that really like the game made the tournament good because everyone was just really hyped about halo it just felt like no one in sight i didn't see and lala was playing halo he's giving up black ops for halo yeah all the call of duty guys were playing all halo. those guys it's fantastic gunning lala yeah, you know, a lot of guys. I was surprised at you, Duty. Actually, what do you there mean? was there was that one time where I, I walked out of the land room and I came back and you were sitting on my in the, on the setup. So then I switched like your like I switched the stream so it was uh, dedicated towards you. I have a good like twenty minutes of you playing like Lights Out Halo and like you're <laughs> just screaming into the mic. Really? <laughs> and you were so loud and you didn't even, you couldn't even tell. It was hilarious. Someone said that I said some things out loud that should not be heard. <laughs> I don't, see, this is the, this is why I can't play video games because if I if there is any sort of competition that is involved or any sort of like you know anything really, I freak out, dude. I can't. That'll be knows, man. <laughs> He's been a part of the, some of this. I, I, <laughs> to be honest, even I was taken aback a couple of times. Really. I was, you know, like, I still, know, I know you're a competitive guy and everything like that, but even still, there was a couple times where I was like, wow, really? Yeah. Dude. It's not good. All right. It's, it's not right healthy there. for me. It's okay. <laughs> this is why I have to play MMOs and shit because they're just, they're like, it's like playing, you know, My Little Pony or something. <laughs> Keeps me docile. I can't play no. these games, man. It's Lolo, Lolo's right. It wasn't like D Smooth. D Smooth was, uh. Ah, yeah, but well, that's a different story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, then at one point it was so it was kind of funny. It was a little, I guess, a little mini story. Speaking of <laughs> obscenities, a bunch of little kids came in the land room. They <laughs> snuck in the land room, and that's when you feel like how old and how stupid your hobby is, right? Because <laughs> like a bunch of nine year olds, all of a sudden we're all like, you know, yelling the worst shit you could possibly yell. And I look up from the monitor, and there's like, there's like three ten year olds there, and they're like, "Do you guys play Black Ops?" You guys came back. And we were like, get out of here. This is dangerous. You must leave now. You must leave. It must have been like the mother now. load for them. Oh, they, like, they oh. like to see their faces. They were like, it was like Mecca. They were just like, this is where you go. This is you so die. awesome. I can't wait to grow up. Yeah. And then they get the harsh reality. We're like, fuck you, kid. Get out of here, you piece of shit. It was you really much this shit costs. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> And what was really funny is like, I mean, you'd think that they were like, they, they didn't care about Halo 4. That was, that's what I thought was so funny. All these little nine-year-olds were like, you guys, are you, are you playing Black Ops 2? We're like, no, we're playing Halo. They're like, oh, that's for old people. <laughs> <laughs> you guys don't want to play that. We're like, yeah, we're playing Halo 4. They're like, all right, we'll leave. We'll leave. We didn't know. We thought this was like a cool gaming thing, but it's just, it's just, it's just Halo. Wow. It's not a big wow. deal. It was, it was, it was really kind of funny. But anyway, so the other thing we did too was what I really loved doing. And at that point, I was so drunk it didn't really matter. Was the uh, was the, was the raffle? So tell them I, you hit you won big. You were like the big you were like the big winner, right? What'd you win? Uh, I was um, I won the um, fourteen disc Blu Ray box set for Red versus Blue seasons one through ten. I feel like there's a little bit of shadiness going on. From our friends at Rooster Teeth. Yeah, so we got, um, I, I don't know if I have all of them on here, but I, I did try to get as many as I could. So I got, um, so Sega really hooked us up. Say, or not Sega, I'm sorry, Capcom. Uh, Capcom sent us how many copies? I don't remember. We had like 85 copies of Dead Rising. <laughs> we did, man. Capcom is freaking amazing. Uh, yes. Didn't we? It was crazy. It, I was like... Holy crap! Like if you didn't ha if you didn't walk out of the land with a with a copy of 
of Dead Rising 2, then you weren't at the land. You, you I, were away at some time. You didn't. Okay. I know. It's okay. But yeah, so Capcom came out really strong. It was really awesome of them. Uh, obviously, Roster Teeth came out, or Rooster Teeth came out, um, hit won the 10th anniversary of the big box set, which was, I think it's a pretty expensive box set, um, which was really cool of them. Yeah, and we Derek had that was saying up, something like 200, like 200 bucks or something. Or something. So, I know, haven't actually was, checked it out. Yeah. No, it's really cool. I mean, they, you know, for them to send that out. And then they actually sent us two other copies of season 10 that we got. We gave away a um, bunch of other shit, too. We had tons of stuff from, um, no, I'm just going to name Oh, PopCap. And PopCap every year, they don't just send like games, they send really cool shit, like shirts and mouse pads, like really cool knickknacks that go along with their stuff. And I love like the Plants vs. Zombie stuff. So yeah. they sent a bunch of that kick ass shit. I mean, they're, they're just a great company. They just really are. And, um, oh, why am I forgetting the name of this? It starts with a D where the, all the devs signed it. Now I feel like a shithead. This is why I need to prepare my notes. Um, but is it Disturbed? What's the name of the new game that just came out? Oh, it's Disturbed. I don't think it's Disturbed. I feel like something else. It's Disturbed. No. Dishonored. Dishonored. Yeah, I'm going to oh, go with that. Yeah. Those guys uh, sent out, you know, Two copies of the game, but they also signed one of the Dishonored masks, and, and the art team signed one of the insides of the actual copy of the game, which was really cool. Um, and I got to pair. I got some stuff from Astros. I actually got these little. You can't really see the logo, can you? Yeah, I guess you can. Which I'm gonna try to give away maybe next week. They're um, they're like these cool little. I'll take these out. The for earbuds. Guys. Yeah, no, they're like the uh, the caps. Ah. So if you've got a pair of those Astros, you can pop those on. So maybe we'll give those away next week. Uh, and a bunch of other cool shit. So it was, really good. It was a really good time. I and mean, we, we only had, I think, uh, 50 people. And it, was, it must have been less than that overall. We sold 53 tickets, but not everyone actually could make it. So, um, But even with that small amount of people, we still raised 620 bucks. It's pretty good, man. And so, paid for the land. And paid for the land. Uh, which brings me to the next point. So that was a, a, a nice success. Um, Josh, the guy that was the, when we've talked about this before, he set us up with basically three grand that he donated, uh, for, through wounded warrior project. I mean, he wanted us to really make sure that that's who, uh, it went through. Uh, he wasn't able to attend, but what we did, uh, what I did actually was I brought my launch Xbox, uh, to the LAN and I had everybody sign it. Um, so every single per well, I think most of the people at least signed it. LB, did you not sign it? Shame on you. Were you at a movie at the time? You son of a bitch. <laughs> well, he didn't sign it because he's not a good person. But most of the people with hearts and souls signed it, which is really nice. Um, Sorry, Josh. Yeah, you're a piece of shit. So what we're going to do is we're going to send that over to Josh, which is kind of cool. It's, it's my original launch Xbox. It still works 100%, which is fucking crazy. So this thing is like a relic. Uh, so I thought it'd be kind of cool. So we all signed it, and we're going to send that over to him. It will never cover or even compare to uh, what he did because he literally made the land happen. And I can't even stress that enough without him donating wouldn't happen. Um, God, it's really, I, every time I think about it, it's just, it, it's insane. So we got him a nice little shirt says King of the lands, got his gamer tag on the back. Uh, and then we all signed an Xbox to give him that he can kind of put up in his room. He doesn't even have to use it. It's, I mean, it, it works. It's, you know, it's a workable thing. It's a launch. It literally is my, the first Xbox I got. It's never red ringed. I shouldn't have said that out loud. Yeah. I'm regretting <laughs> it. It, just it came out. Wish I could take it back. I can't. So we're oh, going to send that white, over to That too. white Xbox? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I signed it. Did you? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, you're a good person. Oh. Right. <laughs> I forgot about that. Right. <clears throat> so we still want to say thanks to Josh, obviously, for making the land happen. And so many good times were had that it was just, I mean, I, I got to say, man, it's, my, it's definitely my favorite. I don't know. It was my favorite. It was just, I got to actually, I never get a chance to experience the land because I'm always just this tiny, like this huge ball of stress. You know, I'm like, are, are they going to, you know, charge me too much money? Is someone breaking something? Is Derek setting fire to an elevator? I don't know. He might be. He's Is Derek calling in the fire department? He, he's done it before. <laughs> you got to be careful. This year though, totally smooth out. So that was good. Yeah. Uh, and the other thing, is talking about the future of the land. Um, I mean, there's, there's tons of stories to tell. In fact, we're going to get some, we, we hit, you've got a bunch of video, right? You're like, yes. you're good to go. Yeah. yeah so so um, it's probably a good time to say, um, I don't even think I've told you guys, um, but I, I did record um, the land. I did recorded a whole bunch of gameplay from Friday and Saturday um, 
during the LAN. Um, because the internet wasn't that good, uh, it just recorded it, so I couldn't live stream it. So I'm going to be rebroadcasting um, Friday and Saturday uh, footage this coming Saturday. I'm going to probably start around noon. So if anyone wants to catch up, it'll be playing. I'll play. I have it playing the whole day. You should do it um, on the weekdays while people are, you know, they can, you know. Are they gonna watch well, it I, I was thinking weekday. I, I I could do tomorrow if it really. I was just thinking Saturday. Everyone's off of work, and mm-hmm. they may be able to jump on. I don't know. Uh, either way, I'll be broadcasting it on this channel at some point. Um, I also am going to be posting up uh, all five games of the championship match. Um, oh, on YouTube. On YouTube. Oh, on the cool. Tool to Play channel, and I'll also be posting up the uh, raffle from the. Uh, oh, that'll Tool be to Play fun. Land. Yeah, yeah, everyone can see how that went down. That there was yeah. some uh, shenanigans there as well. One of the presenters yeah. was too drunk to pour a cup of tickets out. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I, I just want everyone to know that I was not that presenter, but there could be some footage of the one that was. So that that's really cool. Um, I'm glad yeah. you actually did that. So everyone, thank Hit for recording them swearing and yelling because I'm really excited to see. I don't even want to see. Can we can we blur me out? Is there a way to? <laughs> I do actually um, want to thank uh, Hoplite. Um, he uh, also, I also recorded his gameplay. Whenever I wasn't on, he would be on. So there was always someone playing. Oh, that's cool. Uh, so yeah, I like to thank Hoplite for uh, being a good sport about it. <laughs> Hop made me a kick ass bowl that he Did fucking he? put on a lathe himself. Oh, yeah. And oh, yeah. Carved that's from right. scratch. I never felt like such a pussy in my life because I was like, <laughs> I couldn't do this. I can't. Is that your new cereal bowl? No, I use it in my car to hold my change. <laughs> it's actually fantastic. I got all my changes in there now. I love it. it sits in my car. It's fantastic. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was a great time. And, and the big thing I think we got out of this, uh, you know, just to kind of wrap it up, um, we're definitely doing more lands. In fact, the one thing we realized going into this land, and it unfortunately took us too long to realize it, um, was really that... We've got to bring the price down of the tickets. And we finally, I think, figured out how. So this year, we got 40 monitors for the 50-plus people. Because usually we figure, you know, someone's going to bring their own or not everyone will be gaming at the exact same time. Which is true, and it's always true. In fact, going back, it would have been skewed had they all used these monitors. Because normally, believe it or not, half of the people or less are gaming usually in a LAN. But this time around, because it was Halo 4... 90% 90% of the people were gaming the whole time. So that was a little bit of a different stat for us. But the big thing that changed this year is that everyone now brings their own monitor. I mean, more than half, I think, of what we purchased was left on the table uh, and not even used. And a large chunk, I mean, the biggest cost is the is the monitors. That's what we pay for because you have to rent them. Uh, you have to rent them for the full weekend because they don't do deliveries on Sunday. So, you know, we end up renting them Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You know, there's 60 bucks a pop or something like that. And there's 40 of them. So it's expensive. It's per day. Um, what we want to do next year, what we realized was why are we charging $100 for a land ticket um, when the only cost is the room and the monitors if people aren't going to use the monitors? So what we're going to try to do next year is still do Kickstarter because I think that was a fantastic thing and it really lights fires under people's asses to make sure we meet these marks. But if you bring a monitor, we're only going to charge like 20 bucks, 30 bucks a ticket because there's just no sense. All you're doing at that point is you're you're helping to supplement the cost of the land room. Um, But there's no reason to pay for a monitor if you're not going to use it. Now, if you are going to use a monitor, you'll still have to probably pay around 90 to 100 bucks. But... Uh, that will be far and few between. In fact, a lot of people that flew still brought monitors. They just put them, you know, you get a, like a 19 inch monitor now. It costs more to buy or more to rent the monitors than if you were to just go out and buy one. I mean, they're like less than hundred bucks now, 19 inch monitor. Um, throw that in a backpack or whatever and bring it, you know? And this way I think we can hopefully get more people locally to come down, uh, and just really just try to reduce this cost. Um, and like we said before, because, the Hyatt was so great. I mean, they really were a fantastic hotel. We're going to do everything in our power to, to keep it there as well and uh, hopefully keep those costs down because now we know what it costs to have 50 people at a Hyatt. We know what the prices are uh, and we can work with it. You know, I mean, it's not going to be nearly as hard now. That we finally found a hotel that we actually like because normally we're at a new, new hotel every year. Um, so this year we're definitely going to go back. But um, I don't know. I mean, overall, let's wrap it up. What did you guys think? Lan, how do you feel about next year? You're gonna be there, Ellie. 
Ah, uh, I hope so. I don't like that <laughs> attitude. <laughs> if if I am able to, I will be there. You goddamn right you will. I'll make you able to. Wow. You have no fucking choice. Although no movies for you next year. I'm sorry. Well, it no depends. Love. All right. Be a dick. What about you, Hit? How do you feel? Uh yeah, I had a I had a good time. Um definitely gonna go to the next land. Except this time I'm not driving. Really? Uh, I, I'm gonna fly. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you don't but um yeah, no, that hotel was awesome. Even like all the people in that hotel, like the wedding parties and uh, all that shit going on in the lobby. Like that's the why you go awesome. to a land. It's because if you're lucky enough to have a wedding party while a land is going on, yeah, just it's fantastic. You know, if if we would have had like button down shirts and like slacks, oh yeah, we, we would have had free right drinks there. Saturday night. I know. <laughs> That'll be the new thing when we do the land do's and don'ts next year. Bring. There a tuxedo <laughs> to the land. No, they, they were they weren't even in tuxedos. Yeah, they no, were they like, weren't. You know, maybe a, a suit or something like that. But still, you know, you get a button down shirt. I'm with slacks, you, bro. No. Dark shoes. There are some nice chicks there. Uh. There was. Mm. There was. That's right. Chicks Wasn't there a nerds. special lady at the bar late at night? And we're getting into that wrapped up hour. <laughs> <laughs> Time to turn in. Everyone's real tired. It's a long week. Check back <laughs> next week. We're going to try to talk a little bit about the stuff that uh, we actually, we don't have enough time because I figured, you know, next week we'll take some of the footage and maybe play it on the stream and kind of go over some stuff because there's, there is some cool stuff uh, that still needs to be talked about. We kind of threw this together too, because this whole week has been hell since I took off work, you know, for an entire land party. Got shit to do. Um, but next week, yeah, tune in. We're going to try to grab some stuff. And then I think the week after, we're having someone on, uh, I believe, from Roster Teeth. I think that's the uh, the goal, which would be nice because they gave us a bunch of free shit, and uh, we like their stuff. So. Oh, Rooster. Yeah. What? Rooster. Rooster. Rooster Teeth. Teeth. No. Roster doesn't make any sense anyway. No. I don't even know where I'm coming R- from. Roster? Same? Roster. <laughs> I'm not good at this. I'm not good at selling stuff for people. Can't do it. Um, so tune in next week and uh, we'll be here hopefully at the same time. We'll get back to Tuesdays and everything will be hopefully back to normal. Um, if you want to hit up LB and you want to become his best friend in the whole wide world where he will think of no one else, only you, where would they have to go to do this, LB? How would they do this? Well, they could contact me at Twitter at LB, S-U-T-K-E, or Xbox Live at... L B S U T K. Is your friends list still full? My friends list is still full. Yeah. But the attempt would be appreciated. Right. Just seeing the letter, like the note, would be really nice. So if you want to do that, if you want to get rejected by somebody, there you go. Hit, on the other hand, accepts everyone. So hit, where could they find you? He's actually, he doesn't care. He has no, send him a letter. He's down. <laughs> a letter. Subscribe to my channels. How Subscribe about that? to his channels. He's got so many channels, people. I know. God. Um, yeah, you can follow me on Twitter at uh, i6hitman and uh, my Twitch channel at uh, twitch.tv forward slash i6hitman or this channel at uh, Tool to Play. Wow. Look at you yep. actually pimping our channel for once. Yeah, and check our uh, Tool to Play YouTube channel. Uh, yeah, to we'll play. start putting more shit on there too. We need more people to subscribe to that channel since this is where the show goes anyway. That's going to be our new move. Oh, and next week, I don't even know where I put the box before I go. Speaking of streaming, got Uh-oh. a little surprise for you guys. Oh, yes. I'm um, giving away this HD PVR streaming thingy from, Hump- how do I say it? Hump- what? Hump- Hapog. Hapog. You could, you could stream just like us three. And have so many followers, like seven people watching at the same time. <laughs> you could do that. Seven real seven people. Seven real people. Three of which are <laughs> us. So. And then I'm also going to give away uh, these Astro things that I already showed you guys. But um, So I'll probably do that next week. Maybe when I have the uh, Rooster Teeth people gone. Maybe. I don't know. Or maybe next week. I don't know. Maybe we'll pimp it this week. No, because we don't have time, do we? Got like less than a week. All right, we'll do it later. Anyway, so yeah, we can give that away and uh, some of these away and uh, I don't know, some other stuff. Maybe I'll give away my dog. Yeah. But if you want to hit me up, you can hit me up at twitter.com slash D-O-O-D-I-R-O-C-K. Um, and you can find me on Total Play. I'm there too. I'm everywhere. Can't be stopped. And we'll see you guys uh, next week. By the way, going back.
going back to the condom for a second. At the standard. Look at the back of this thing. Uh oh. Wait. Check that does, out. Does not protect you against. Whoa. No, look at that. What? Yeah. What? They're, they're, what? they're double teaming the chick. They're, they're, it's a double team. <laughs> this is really explicit. I probably shouldn't be. Whoa. Yeah. How great is that? That is fantastic. Yeah, they're really giving it to her, too. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> really? I mean, do we, you know that from the. I guess. That one guy's got both his hands on her. Like, whoa. Dude. <laughs> does he? he does. Yeah, Not even like, just the one hand, just the. Crazy, man. <laughs> Are you. <laughs> I'm putting this on the show, by the way. I'm not editing this out at all. Uh oh. What's going on the show? Better hope no one players are watching you. 